If you're a good parent, you're going to frustrate your two-year-old. And I don't mean deliberately. I just mean when they want a cookie before dinner, you're not going to give them a cookie. You're going to say, no, no cookie before dinner. Well, if he's a healthy two-year-old, they're going to throw a tantrum because they're frustrated. But then you read Jordan Peterson's book. And he says, an angry child should be made to sit by themselves so they come back to normal. It's not normal for a kid to be angry. So the kid gets the message. If I'm going to experience my genuine self, I'm going to lose my attachment. Now guess what's going, what the kid's going to give up 100% of the time? It's the authenticity. Because without the attachment, they can't live. But then authenticity becomes a threat. So the kid becomes afraid of their true selves. If I'm being myself, they won't like me. They'll reject me. They'll even hurt me. And then, of course, the culture rewards you. Oh, you're such a good kid. You're always compliant. You're always so nice. You're always so pleasant. Come here. Let me pat you on the head. What a pretty little girl. Always pretty. We praise kids for pleasing us. So the reward is the attachment. And we don't care about the child's inner experience. So then we give ourselves up just in order to be accepted. So it's that simple. And then you grow up and you're 30 or 40 and you're 50 saying, who the hell am I anyway? And whose life am I living? And why am I behaving in these ways?